गुड डे एवरी वन दिस इज योर वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी कोच रत कपूर एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल द लेडिट एस्ट्रोलॉजर इन माई चैनल आई मेक वीडियोज ऑन वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड आई मेक वीडियोज ऑन द इम्पोर्टेंट ट्रांसिट्स दैट आर अपकमिंग इन द रिसेंट टाइम्स आई हैव स्टार्टेड अ सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन जुपिटर्स ट्रांसिट एंड हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू हैव एन इम्पैक्ट ऑन ऑल असेंड इन साइंस यू कैन चेक आउट माई प्रीवियस वीडियो द फर्स्ट वीडियो इज अबाउट इट्स इफेक्ट ऑन ऑल ट्वेल्व असेंडेंट विद सम सिंपल रेमिडीज द सेकेंड वीडियो इज अबाउट जुपिटर्स एस्पेक्ट्स इन हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू प्ले अ रोल आई हैव मेड इट इन अ वेरी डिटेल्ड एंड अ सिंपल मैन ऑफ ऑल असेंडेंट्स एंड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट जुपिटर बींग combust for the next few days in case you're new to my channel please subscribe hit the bell icon share this video with your friends and keep yourself up to date with all the upcoming transit videos and vedic astrology videos as i continue to make concepts more simple for you in case you wish to book a personalized consultation with me you can check out the link to my website in the comment section and the process of reaching out to me in case you live in dubai you're based in the uae i am available for in person consultations Jupiter which is the biggest planet the planet of wisdom the planet of learning growth it represents real wealth Jupiter is the only planet that is the significator of 4 out of 12 important houses in a Vedic chart Jupiter is one of the most important planets for us because it is the natural benefic it is considered to be the most benefic planet as far as its natural karakatva or significations are concerned Jupiter is called guru since he is the teacher he is brihaspati he is the giver of knowledge he has the ultimate wisdom he is the master of vedas and shastras and all the ancient knowledge all the spiritual knowledge is ruled or governed by jupiter he is the master generally speaking for people who study astrology vedic sciences jyotish they should work on strengthening their natal jupiter and that could be done through mantras of jupiter and remedies related to jupiter this video is about jupiter being combust jupiter has already begun its state of being combust or in a state of combustion and that happened on 7th of may this is the date when the combustion starts and this is going to last till 3rd of june so this combustion is about 26 to 27 days what is the phenomena of combustion and first few minutes i'm going to talk about what combustion really means i'm going to remove some myths around combustion then in the next part of the video i'm going to focus on each ascendant sign what you can expect during this phase what is that you should be doing in order to protect significations of jupiter in order to work on significations related to jupiter in order to strengthen it and at the same time some simple remedies that you could use during this time a combustion as a phenomena for jupiter happens once every year this is when jupiter gets in close contact with sun so when it is 11 degrees from the sun it is getting in a state of combustion and there is deep combustion that happens within 3 degrees which means when jupiter is 3 degrees ahead of the sun or 3 degrees behind the sun it is a state of deep combustion let us understand what combustion really means and then i'm going to talk about key dates and how it is going to have an impact combustion in vedic terms is called ast sthiti or grah ast what does that mean ast means setting up so sunrise is surya uday sunset is surya ast similarly combustion is very misunderstood concept people say oh the planet is burning by sun's heat oh it is having a bad impact on the planet it is losing all its energy all its significations let me give you a very clear precise and a simple explanation so let's link it to sunrise and sunset when surya uday is there sunrise is there there is high amount of energy we start our day when there is sunset it is time to rest it is time to relax it is time to recharge yourself this is the similar state and the kind of message which jupiter is giving us in its state of combustion or grah ast that is the correct term so what happens is when it comes in close contact with the sun as far as degrees are concerned the planet is not visible in the night sky because it loses its light because of the light of the sun because of the energy of the sun which is overpowering jupiter it is not visible for this time in the night sky so if you look up in the night sky jupiter usually 80% of the time is visible by naked eyes as well if the sky is clear but this jupiter is not visible during this time in vedic terms the state of grah ast means that it is the curse of the king curse of the government 
or a punishment of the king punishment of the government or the authorities this is the real meaning of combustion that means sun is overpowering jupiter and in some way it is hindering jupiter to perform to its full potential therefore jupiter definitely is losing its significance during this time or it is not being able to channelize its energy in the most optimum manner because its energy are not reaching planet earth its energies are not reaching our planet our graha therefore people will generally have a lot of problems challenges in terms of putting extra efforts in protecting the significations of jupiter this is an ultimate time to rest relax recharge yourself and prepare for bigger and better and higher learning in the near future one common factor which all of us need to be aware of is if it is about learning growth wisdom expansion wealth teaching learning spiritual knowledge jupiter signifies second house of the chart which is about wealth speech your family your savings and everything you accumulate and how you consume and what you consume it is a significant of the fifth house which is about future it is about creativity it is about spiritual knowledge it is about mundane knowledge as well and the skill sets that you demonstrate it is the significant of the ninth house which is dharma bhagya fortune and these are some of the very important significations we see from jupiter it also represents guru or father jupiter is also the signification of the 11th house which is the aya bhava it represents your income material gains and also most importantly your purpose of birth why are you born and why are you there in this world jupiter is the jiva so when it is combust we definitely feel that there is some amount of difference as far as energy is concerned when it is about learning teaching and some of those significations one thing which uh, people have to be mindful of if you were to learn you need support of authorities you need support of your leaders you need support of your government so this one month could be extremely challenging for people wherein they might see some politics that are happening around your workplace your life in general and ignorance is something which is trying to overpower wisdom and knowledge towards the end knowledge will prevail wisdom will prevail this is the time to calm down this is the time to wait and watch and put conscious efforts in continuous learning and trying to build your wisdom each and every day this is the challenge which you have this is the challenge which i have which all of us have and hopefully we will counter it by the blessings of surya devta and the guru some important dates 7th of may till 3rd of june 2024 jupiter is combust it will move out of combustion on 4th of june during this time jupiter will be conjoined sun for most of the time in the sign of taurus because mid of may sun will enter the sign of taurus from now till 18th of may both sun and jupiter are forming a yoga why this yoga is happening because sun is behind jupiter based on the concepts of vedic astrology if a graha that moves faster is behind the other graha that moves relatively slower it is a yoga if it is the other way around it is a v yoga which means it might not have the optimum potential to perform or deliver positive results so the second half of this transit is particularly challenging now between 14th of may till 23rd of may is the time when jupiter will be in deep combustion and that is one time wherein you will really feel this energy you will really feel low as far as learning and some of those significations are concerned now let's try and understand by each ascendant what is happening how this transit and conjunction is playing a role for you and what is that you should be doing what is the key message for you let's start with aries ascendants for aries jupiter is an important planet for you because it is your ninth lord and it is your 12th lord it is your bhagyesha and it also rules expenditure it also rules your higher self consciousness now this jupiter is making a transit in your second house of income savings investment family and things that you consume those people who you would like to protect it is the significator of this house so from a placement perspective it is forming a dhan yoga for you for all these matters it is a positive transit and i have said this in my previous video too but this jupiter is conjoined sun now sun becomes your fifth lord so by the virtue of this conjunction it is forming a nice yoga for the first half as far as this conjunction is concerned but some of the aspects that you need to protect during this time are related to lordship of jupiter and matters related to second house so you need to protect 
your dharma you might be in a position to deviate from the path of righteousness or your dharma or you know fortune will be very very challenging during this time if you are taking up a long distance travel you could face some obstacles during this time so be careful about it you need to protect your 12th house significations the ability to help others give others donate offer donations during this time things related to jupiter you could offer yellow food items or yellow cloth and at the same time you can also offer wheat as donation because surya is also transiting in your second house and both these planets are karaka graha for you or very favorable planets this is definitely giving you a dhan yoga during this time but you will have to put in extra efforts to ensure that you do not lose out on your knowledge you do not take wrong steps you do not take other mediums as far as wealth creating opportunities are concerned and you're still being very much honest and ethical during this time because you will have high probability to deviate from your path so these are some of the significations that you would like to protect during this time be very careful of what you eat what you consume during this time you need to focus on chanting mantras related to surya rise up early offer water or argu to sun or surya use mantras related to surya it could be as simple as om grini surya adityay so this is something which you can do and overall this time should pass and you just need to hold on to protecting these significations so it is time for you to take a break from these aspects spend time with your family as much as you can at your home be careful of what you speak how you speak and when you speak also at the same time i wish you the very best Let's talk about Taurus ascendants. Now, both Sun and Jupiter during this time, when Jupiter is combust, Jupiter is combust is going to be combust in your first house. It is your eighth lord and the eleventh lord. It is a potent malefic for you, but Jupiter being in the ascendant gains direction strength, which means there are blessings of Digapala Devata. It is Digbali there, so from a placement perspective, it is great. Mid of this month, Sun is going to come in your ascendant. Now, this is usually an opportunity that you will not get in the next twelve years when Sun and Jupiter are conjoined in your ascendant itself. From a yoga perspective, this is an ultimate time for you to also ensure that you channelize your resources towards knowledge, towards wisdom, towards wealth creating opportunities, towards removing any kind of obstacles. towards your own transformation but this is where you are going to struggle now sun is your fourth lord ironically it is a better planet as far as you know its functional nature is concerned for you it is more of a neutral planet because it rules your sukha bhava so that is what sun will demand you need to take a break in terms of what you've been doing in your day to day life and focus on doing things that make you feel happy that make you feel content pursue your own interest i mean focus on your own well-being during this time which is going to be of prime importance to you over the next few weeks so any activities that you do related to your well-being is the ultimate remedy for you because the planet that rules gains for you the planet that rules transformation ayush you could have some minor health issues as well so you need to take care of your well-being you need to do something each and every day that helps you stay energized all through the time you need to ensure that you make the right use of resources because the significator of resources is transiting in your ascendant this is also a time that you have to demonstrate consistency consistency in having a day consistency when it comes to rising up whether you rise early or late so you be consistent in everything that you do and the other important point for you would be every day read a page or two from any book go to the internet do not sit idle keep trying to learn something new because you would be in a position to put in extra efforts as far as these significations are concerned and some of the learnings that you will have is going to be very beneficial for you in order to build your assets so this is also something which you must consider doing during this time in terms of how you can build some of the assets your mother is going to be playing a supportive role and those people who are from your homeland or your home country and this is something which is going to play an important role for you so overall i feel that you need to take it easy you need to focus on pursuing your interest and follow these simple remedies during this time to make the most of it and let this combustion phase pass relax and i wish you the very best let's not talk about gemini ascendants and what's happening with gemini ascendants 
Jupiter is getting combust. Jupiter is your seventh lord and the tenth lord. It rules partnership for you. It is the rule of the Chaya Bhava. It is the Daresha for you, which rules marriage, which rules love and also war in your chart. Those people who are opposite to you, Jupiter is your Karmesha. It rules workplace. It rules your profession, the job that you do. It is the Karma Karak for you. As far as 10th Lordship is concerned, it is one of the most important planet which plays a very important role in terms of your workplace related decisions and your actions in the society. Jupiter plays another role for you. It is the Bhadakesha being the seventh lord for Gemini ascendant. It is the ruler of obstacles. So Bhadakesha getting combust is also good news for you. But at the same time, you will have a lot of office politics during this time because Jupiter is getting combust by sun in your 12th house, which is the house of expenditure, which is the house of losses which is also the house of sleep or how you rest. One thing that you have to be mindful of over the next 30 days is if you have been looking to improve the quality of your sleep, this could be a potentially favorable time because there is agony there. So you should be able to channelize those energies within in order to get a good night and a peaceful, calm sleep. And if you have good sleep, you will be energized all through the day. And this is the ultimate remedy for you as far as fixing your life routine is concerned during this time. This is the kind of situation which will not come again in the next few years because Sun and Jupiter would really make a conjunction like once in 12 years as far as any ascendant is concerned. Now, other factor that you need to understand is Sun is your third lord. It is making a transit in the 12th house. So you might get support from those people who are from different cultures or background. And if you work with in a multinational environment, you are likely to get some support. But be very careful of any office politics. This is also a time to mend relationships as far as your spouse is concerned or your business partner is concerned or any such relation with those people who are opposite to you. This is your opportunity. This is your opportunity to demonstrate the kind of loyalty you have and also the kind of leadership capabilities that you have during this time. Do plenty of meditation as much as you can. Sadhana, anything that makes you spiritually well learned and well connected. This is the time to gain some mastery as far as spiritual pursuits are concerned. Take it easy. Spend time in your self-awareness. This is the key message for you. And I wish you the very best during this combustion stage. May this time pass well for you. Let's now talk about Cancer Ascendance. For Cancer Ascendance, Jupiter is your sixth lord and the ninth lord. The ruler of daily routines, deaths and diseases. Jupiter rules competition for you. It also rules intelligence and the kind of job that you do. Those things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Jupiter is also your Bhagyesha. It rules fortune, father, long distance travel, journeys, and most importantly, your religion, your dharma, what that means for you. It is making a transit in your 11th house of gains. Jupiter is also a significator in the 11th house. It is a very good transit. This is something I've mentioned in my previous video as well. But this is a state where Jupiter is going to be combust for the next 26, 27 days, along with your second Lord, Sun. So second Lord making a transit in the 11th house, ninth house making a transit in the 11th house is definitely giving you a Dhan Yoga during this time. In some or the other way, it will fructify. In case you're looking forward to having an incentive or an increase in your wages or salary, or you're looking to have a new opportunity, this could be a potentially favorable time if you try for it. I'm not saying that you will get it during this time, but you will be able to create a resource for yourself or a new opportunity, which could be quite beneficial for you any mantras that you use either it's related to surya or jupiter even if you chant om gurve nama or if you chant mantras related to devata associated with brihaspati who is sadashiva and the mantra for you could be om sadashivai nama during this time you will have maximum benefit and you will be able to protect those significations of jupiter because you need to protect your ninth house significations, which is dharma. You need to protect your bhagya, any journeys or long distance travel that you make. If you take a trip for spiritual pursuits, this could be a potentially favorable time for you. I do not see a lot of negative impact on Cancer Ascendance during this transit because both Sun as well as Jupiter 
do well in the 11th house we must also understand that when these two planets come together they form a royal yoga this is the indication of royal lineage so you likely to get favors but for some point in time you might have some struggle as far as your bosses are concerned as far as your leaders are concerned they might have you know behavioral changes you would not be in a position to understand what is going to happen next so you might see some unexpected changes or shift in moods or shift in behaviors that is something which you have to deal with and be prepared for it and overall i wish you the very best during this time let's not talk about leo ascendants for leo ascendants jupiter becomes the fifth house lord and the eighth house lord it is a karaka planet as far as leo ascendants are concerned because it is your fifth lord fifth lord is one of the most important planet because it rules future for you it rules children it is the house of kingdom we see progress and we see positional success from the fifth house jupiter also rules transformation ayush which is the eighth house matters it rules change it also plays a very important role in hidden knowledge in the knowledge of related to past and future lives so astrology is also seen from the eighth house this jupiter is making a transit already in your 10th house where jupiter is also one of the significators of the 10th house and during this phase it will be in contact or it will be conjoined with your lagna lord surya now these two are forming a very beautiful yoga on one hand you have the significator of knowledge wisdom and all those things and knowledge related to your work or the kind of profession you have second your lagna lord is in the 10th house which is forming a yoga which is similar to simhasana yoga okay and sun gains directional strength or is digbali during this time so for you your lagna lord is gaining power so at least you will be in a position to make the right decisions the only thing which should be challenge for you is to not able to foresee what are you going to do in future so you might be in a situation where you might not be very sure about what are those next steps that you need to take so this is something which you have to consciously work on during this time you need to continue to focus on sun surya c from the perspective of career work progress is concerned this is quite a progressive time in spite of your fifth lord being in a state of combustion you need to continue focusing on your lagna lord and embrace the qualities of surya you need to take support of your leaders during this time you have to build credible relationships by the virtue of your wisdom by the virtue of your knowledge during this time i do not consider this combustion to be negative or bad for you simple fact because surya is your lagna lord so if it has greater influence during this time it is in a way helping you to make some good decisions as far as your future is concerned but you have to think about it you have to sit down write some of your goals do this kind of exercise use mantras related to surya offer water to surya be consistent in what you're doing one of the ultimate remedy for you could be to wake up rise early read a chapter or two you could also start reading bhagavad gita during this time which could be extremely beneficial for you and another good remedy as far as this time period is concerned overall i do not consider it to be bad and i wish you the very best Let's talk about Virgo ascendants. For Virgo ascendants, Jupiter becomes the ruler of the fourth house and the seventh house, the Sukhesha or ruler of happiness, your comforts, and also the seventh house ruler, which is about partnerships, marriage, your relationship, those people who are opposite to you. Seventh house plays a very important role in our overall success and as far as our growth is concerned. Okay. Now this Jupiter is also a Badakesha for you, which is the ruler or the lord of obstacles, and this is something which it represents. Now whether you will have obstacles or whether you will have positive significations of Jupiter really depends on the natal placement of Jupiter. That will be the ultimate deciding factor. But at the same time, this Jupiter is making a transit in your ninth house. and will be in a state of combustion for the next 26 27 days this jupiter is conjoined your 12th lord sun or surya also going to be making a transit in your 9th house in the next few days this kind of a conjunction is a situation for you now from a signification point of view there are two significators of the 9th house one is jupiter the other is sun so from a placement perspective this is an opportunity that you are getting to permanently fix your dharma to permanently establish fortune in your life 
which could last for the next few years this is an opportunity window for you i do not consider this combustion to be bad because your ruler of obstacles is getting combust you will have a lot of fire as far as your dharma is concerned so if you follow the path if you get yourself an advice of a mentor or a guru you could make some breakthrough decisions if you listen to them those people who you trust so as far as your workplace endeavors are concerned if you work with foreigners you could be supportive during this time if your boss or the manager is from another culture different background you could have some favors during this time so you make sure that you reach out to them if not this is an opportunity for you to establish that kind of relationships in your life you will have to also focus a lot on bringing dharma in your life in your married life in your marital harmony and the kind of relationship which you have during this time worship lord surya worship brihaspati worship shiva during this time that is the ultimate remedy for you in order to channelize this transit well and make the most of it so from a signification point of view your ninth house is pretty active pretty strong for the next one month or so but at the same time you need to ensure that you protect matters related to those things which make you feel happy that make you feel content continue to do that in your daily life pick up your hobbies or interest or things that get a sense of joy or happiness and that's something which you have to build on for the next few days in order to cope up with this transit otherwise i do not think that this combustion is bad for you i wish you the very best let's not talk about libra ascendants for libra ascendants jupiter is a functional malefic or i would say a potent malefic because it rules your third house the house of change growth communication valor courage and jupiter by its nature is not a very courageous planet or it's not like a warrior it is a teacher it is someone who teaches who gives a lot of wisdom and the significator of wealth which is the real wealth of knowledge jupiter also rules your sixth house of daily routines things that you do on day to day basis competition fights battles signifies deaths and diseases and from that aspect as well it's not a very comfortable lordship as far as house related matters for jupiter is concerned now this is making a transit in your 8th house so for libra ascendants it is a vipareeta yoga which jupiter is making in this transit situation could be relatively opposite or relatively low for you it will bring you to your lowest point but eventually you will rise by the virtue of your knowledge by the virtue of your wisdom and your leadership capabilities this jupiter is going to come in contact with sun in the next few days and they will have a conjunction in the 8th house so transformation is something which is inevitable during this time something that you must do as a libra ascendant over the next few days is take a break okay stay and keep private if you'd like to if you wish that isolation is the best solution for you you can isolate yourself try and stay away from people be very careful of engaging in public interaction and this is something at a general level which could cause a lot of problems so we will see because this is a time when ignorance is try ignorance is trying to overpower you so you might get into some arguments as far as in social media conversations are concerned so be extremely careful during this time if you were to study astrology or jyotish or any hidden knowledge this could be a potentially favorable time because resources favor you sun is your 11th lord the lord of gains is sitting in your 8th house so this is an optimum time for you to do some kind of research meditate and this is the ultimate remedy for you in order to cope up with this transit now your 6th lord is getting combust so from a health and well-being point of view it is good because it will bring in a sense of immunity and increase that in your life it will make you conscious of taking decisions of in terms of your lifestyle which is what to eat what not to eat what to consume when to consume how to consume so these are some of the things which you will feel from an energy perspective over the next few days and i wish you the very best Let's not talk about Scorpio ascendants. For Scorpio ascendants, Jupiter is an important planet because it becomes your second house ruler and the fifth house ruler. Therefore, it plays a very important role in wealth. And if a planet that rules wealth for you, that rules dhana, family, your consumption, those people who you would like to protect, your accumulation, whatever you accumulate in life, your resources, your assets, your wealth, your money, and also your fifth house of future, progress, your growth. 
children if that planet is getting combust there is little that you have to worry about it for sure but this combustion is temporary it is only for the time being and you have to put conscious efforts in order to protect significations related to jupiter and also the lordship it has for you this is happening in your seventh house now both jupiter and sun are going to be conjoined in the next few days in your seventh house from a direction point of view sun rises in the east so it is very comfortable in the first house it is the significator of the first house so when it comes in the seventh house from a transit perspective it is not the most comfortable position for it on top of that it is in the sign of taurus which is not the most comfortable sign for sun because it's an earthy sign jupiter gains directional strength in the first house in the seventh house it is losing direction so over the next few days you could feel a lot challenged in terms of your future pursuits are concerned in terms of some wealth creating opportunities are concerned so you might have to face some setbacks some challenges over the next few days but understand this situation is temporary for you you have an opportunity to put conscious efforts to protect your knowledge to protect your wisdom to be very focused on overcoming ignorance and not let ignorance defeat you not let ignorance overpower your mind and that is something you have to strengthen during this time you have to strengthen your moon in order to cope up with this little bit of a challenging time you must understand that from an aspect perspective both these planets are aspecting your ascendant your ascendant is also being aspected by multiple planets during this time jupiter sun rahu saturn and from that perspective you have a lot of energies that are going on now this could help you in making bad decisions as well or the right decisions in some way or the other you will have multiple opportunities or options to choose from and you might get into a state of confusion so this is something which you have to cope up with over the next few days in order to protect some of these significations as far as these transits are concerned so you have to continuously protect what you have been doing all the while and let this time pass let this this energy shift happen and after the first week of june you would likely feel much better as far as this transit is concerned but from a manifestation point of view protect your knowledge protect your resources take it easy try to strengthen your jupiter during this time now also the fact that sun is an important planet for you because it's your 10th lord jupiter is also an important planet for you both are making a transit in kendra if you have some important business related decisions this could be a potentially favorable time for you otherwise you might also need to protect your relationship or put a lot of focus listen to your partner get their advice this is again a potential remedy for you which could be helpful during this time and i wish you the very best and hope you sail through during this time let us now talk about sagittarius ascendants for sagittarius ascendants jupiter becomes the lagna lord the ruler of self your lagnesha it rules your buddhi your intelligence your body personality your vitality it is also your fourth lord the lord of happiness sukh bhava your mother homeland those things or those places where you feel most protected most content in terms of things that you do which make you feel happy that make you feel content or places which are extremely comfortable for you it is the house of care and compassion and jupiter is making a transit in your sixth house of daily routine deaths and diseases it is also the house of competition now this particular placement as far as your lagna lord is concerned will definitely give you a lot of intelligence in the next few months but for the time being your lagnesha and your sukhesha is going to be combust it is going to be also in conjunction with your ninth lord your bhagyesha that is surya both of them are forming a yoga in your chart and this yoga is happening in the 6th house so one thing that you have to do is declutter most of the things in your life try to stay organized clean and focus on your daily routine and daily life try to bring in a sense of knowledge in your daily routine and energy in your daily routine and the consistency in your daily routine so if you start a practice let's say a practice of reading or a practice of writing or a practice of going for a walk or a gym 
try to be consistent each and every day this is an opportunity window for you to make it a habit and if you focus on those good things you will be able to develop some great habits which will be favorable for you for the next few months you could also have some changes and whether this is unpleasant or pleasant for you will depend on your dasha and dasha and these changes would be associated to your job or the kind of work that you're doing whether it'll be good or bad that depends on your dasha and dasha and any meditation that you do any sadhana that you do because both these planets from its seventh aspect are aspecting your 12th house so you need to also increase your spiritual awareness and try to build that up during this time okay because both these planets are favorable for you one is your lagnesha your fourth house lord and your ninth house lord coming together you need to protect your dharma because surya is particularly stronger as far as the sixth house placement and the transit is concerned and that is the kind of path which you must have during this time so it is an opportunity window for you to set good habits great habits that could fix your lifestyle and that could bring a sense of happiness and joy in your life and i wish you the very best let's not talk about capricorn ascendance for capricorn ascendance jupiter is the third house lord and the 12th house lord the lord of valor change growth communication your younger siblings the kind of efforts that you use in day to day life and also the ruler of 12th house which is the house of expenditure losses it's a vaya bhava we also see sleep bed comforts from the 12th house we also see most importantly your higher self consciousness from this house your ability to grow your ability to seek and understand more about yourself to be more aware of your own self is making a transit in the 5th house jupiter is the significator of the 5th house so from a transit perspective it is good because the significator is making a move in this house which only happens once in 12 years it is conjoined with 8th lord now your 3rd and the 12th lord is getting combust jupiter is not one of the most ideal grahas for you it is more of a neutral planet considering its relationship with your lagna lord saturn so from that aspect jupiter being combust you will see an increased amount of efforts that you will have to put in anything that you do because this combustion is being done by the eighth lord be prepared for unpleasant changes sudden ups or sudden downs sudden changes that could happen in your life one thing that you have to be very mindful of for your own well-being perspective is to watch your sleep and have a good night's sleep you are likely to get some favors from people who you work with during this time particularly seniors so make sure that you continue to establish credible relationships but this time period could make you extremely uncomfortable over the next few days so this is something which you have to be mindful of because the fact is you will see yourself putting 10 times more the efforts than you would do usually and this is something which you have to be prepared for mentally you will not get the desired outcome you might have to you know face obstacles or failures but remember one thing that there is always a learning there is always a greater purpose and this time period could really help you think reflect and understand your true meaning and purpose in terms of your work in terms of what you're doing in life in terms of if you were to put efforts why do you need to put efforts these are some of the questions which you must answer during this time from the perspective of learning hidden sciences hidden knowledge such as jyotish this could be a potentially favorable time because the energies are quite supportive so make sure that you spend time in learning jyotish in case you are interested because you will be able to pick it up and learn faster mantras would work 100% during this time because there is agni in your 5th house and there is also wisdom in your 5th house so any mantras that you use which is related to your 5th lord that is shukra look up to venus use mantras of lakshmi or shakti during this time which will protect you and which will be very beneficial for you during this time and i hope this time passes by for you and you get some renewed energies afterwards i wish you the very best Let us now talk about Aquarius ascendance. For Aquarius ascendance, Jupiter is the second house lord and the eleventh house lord, so quite naturally it plays a very important role in wealth-related matters. Second house is the Dhan Bhava. We see accumulated wealth, we see savings, we see investments, consumption, our family, those people who we would like to protect, 
11th house is ayer it is income your all gains the material things in life why are you there in this material world what is the reason for your birth is also seen from the 11th house so it is a very important and a very significant and a powerful house in the chart this jupiter is making a transit in the 4th house now 11th lord also represents bigger enemies which are coming in the 4th house so you likely to have a lot of opposition as far as this overall jupiter's transit is concerned but during the state of combustion jupiter is being combusted by the 7th lord sun now sun does not share a very good relationship with your lagna lord saturn this is given sun rules marriage partnership relationship for you so that coming in contact with the second house lord of family in your fourth house is a perfect time to mend certain relationships in your life as far as your family matters are concerned which might need some additional time additional effort you might see your mood swinging in different directions during this time because your wisdom is getting affected your speech is getting affected so you have to be a bit careful in terms of what you say how you say when you say during this time you could have some conflicts with your friends because jupiter is also your 11th lord and it is losing its significance during this time which you need to protect this combustion is happening in your 4th house now both of these planets are aspecting your 10th house sun is losing direction in the 4th house so there is struggle as far as resources are concerned so you need to take it easy exercise eat right do things which make you feel happy content try to divert your mind try to take care of your own self and of course the people around you because this is just a temporary phase which you must understand during this time and most importantly the ideal remedy for you would be learn something new study avoid time wasters and do something that is more productive more conducive that could support your workplace endeavors in the months to come and that is the ultimate remedy for you and i hope this time passes by for you and i wish you the very best let's not talk about pisces ascendance for pisces ascendance jupiter is an important planet because it's your lagnesha the lord of the ascendant of the first house it also rules 10th house for you the karma bhava your actions in society your profession work or the kind of job that you do how you earn your living and things that you do for your own life it's the first house ruler your immunity body vitality your knowledge intelligence all of these matters jupiter rules for you and lagna lord becoming combust it's a double whammy kind of a situation for you so pisces ascendants need to be a little careful because firstly jupiter is being maran karaka in the third house which is a dead like position and the double whammy is that it is getting combust as well it is getting combust by the sixth lord which is surya in your case who rules enemies competition so particularly you have to be careful of other people in your life those who you trust you could have some conflicts you could have some unpleasant or unnecessary change during this time but i hope that that change will not last very long as far as the time period is concerned you might be in a situation wherein you are putting a lot of efforts and circumstances will be such which would want you to put a lot more efforts this is where you need to look up to mars you need to exercise work out each and every day and this is the only way you can protect signification related to jupiter the remedy is when a planet is maran karaka when it is suffering you look up to significator of that house and significator of the third house is mars or mangal so any remedy you do related to mars whether you chant mantras related to mars or you worship hanuman or you worship lord kartike or you worship shiva this could be the ultimate remedy for you a protecting factor you put all your energy and enthusiasm in doing things that require your hands right with enthusiasm right for a purpose exercise work out each and every day try to stay active try to do things at your home cleaning gardening working in the kitchen things that involve your hands and try to put all your energy in these pursuits which will help you protect your knowledge protect your wisdom protect your decision making because your decision making will be a test it will be weak as far as the transition is concerned 
sun is considered to be good in the third house so there is some light that you might get some results after putting a lot of efforts so at least there is some saving grace for you during this time look up to mars look up to mangal this time shall pass and i wish you the very best so this is about jupiter's combustion in the sign of taurus when it will be in close contact with sun and in this video i have tried to remove some myths i hope you like this video in case you're new to my channel please subscribe once again and i hope and believe jupiter's combustion though it is combust it will still not let ignorance overpower us we will continue to maintain our wisdom our knowledge and hold and protect it to the best of our abilities thank you very much god bless you all